Let's see how we can model the retailer one storm into the Excel. So open file retail model, no transaction attached to lecture. And if you go to the master sheet, you will see two links to two separate sheets. In the first one, we model a separate store. In the second one, we model the whole chain. In this lecture, I'll just talk about how to model a one store. And then in the next one, we're going to model the whole chain on the basis of this store. So when we go to the model of the store, you will see that first we start, as it was shown in the PowerPoint presentation, modeling the revenues. And we do it by modeling the number of transaction and the average transaction value. So we have 45,000 transaction and the average ticket starts from 50 goes to 56. The number of transaction as in the model depends on number of visits, which is 150. And then the conversion is uh, 30%. Then average transaction value depends on the basic value, which is from 40 to 46 in the third year. And then 10 in the, as additional purchase done on the basis of the uh, basic uh, transaction. Then we model gross margin. Uh, the gross margin is modeled by taking the revenues and then estimating the percentage gross margin, which is in turn a difference between the intake margins. So this is the margin we would get if we didn't give any discounts. And obviously we have to deduct the discounts we are giving to customers during sales. So this gives us the gross margin. So out of this, we basically, in order to get to a beta level, we have to remove from gross margin the operational cost of the shop, so the row 24. And here we have a four positions. So royalties, because this is a franchising, so we have to pay for the brand we're using. Then obviously rent, staff, and some sort of a marketing activities. Royalties, in this case, are just a multiplication of our revenues and then agreed in the legal agreement percentage. In, in this case, we assume 7%. Then we have rent, which is just the number of uh, square meters or the size and also the rent we pay per square meter. So it's uh, $600 assumed per year. And then we've got the size 500 square meters and marketing activities are just assumed to be fixed amount per year. And we also have staff. So staff is just number of people or FTEs in this case, and then cost per FTE we pay annually. This gives us a beta level. So this is the difference between the gross margin we calculated in row 17 and then the operational cost of the store. In order to evaluate the, the free cash flow impact, we also should look at the investment we have to make to, to build the store. And this is estimated by assuming certain investment per square meters and having the size of 500 square meters. The total investment per square meter is calculated on the basis of a position we have to make. So from row 40 to 46, you have mentioned all the things which contribute to this $880 per square meters we have here. And last but not least, in terms of cash requirements, you have to basically put some inventory on the retail. So here we have some assumption again by, by square meters, and then we also have square meters. So out of this, we get the beta from a beta, we deduct the investment we're doing, and then we deduct the investment and we get the cash flow being generated per year. So in every column, we have uh, the performance of the store in a specific year. So column H is uh, first year, then I is the second year, J is the third year, K is the fourth year and so on and so forth. Out of this, we can also calculate obviously the IRR, which is huge here. Then we can also estimate the beta as a percentage. So we get the beta on a store level and then the revenues and we get the percentage wise. And it's also important to look at two things which contribute usually the most for the store. So it's the, the rent as a percentage of a sales and then staff as a percentage of the sales. So in this way, we have created a model of one store based on the number of transaction, average transaction value, and then the estimation of the cost of this store. In the next lecture, I'll go from this to the whole chain, how we're going to model this.